It's me again, Betty, with Betty Stampin' Crazy. And I have some little 3x3 three three cards here that I thought were really cute. I made three already, and I wanted to make the fourth one with you. Um, these, I think, are great little invitation cards. They, the perfect size, or, you know, you can just hand them out. And what they're made with is, let's see, um, party wishes I used for the little balloon and the little cupcake which is right here and right here and you also can cut those out it comes in a set of three these little bitty punches mini punches you got your balloon your cupcake and your uh, candle but I'm just using these two this time also the let's party is from the party with cake and it's this sentiment right here both of these are in the occasions catalog and this paper right here is from It's My Party Designer Series Paper Stack. That is 12 by 12 paper, and it's one of the bigger ones, one of the bigger sets. You can see right here, It's My, it's my Party. They tell you all the uh, colors that it has in this set. There's four each of each design, and they're double-sided. This is in the Occasions catalog too. And I really do like these papers. They're a fun paper. You can see some of these here. Of course, this one right here is the same as I've got, but it's in the black behind it. So these are some of the papers. You might want to run over to this online store and check those out before they go away because um, Occasions does end on the 31st of, of uh, May. So anyway, let's get started with this little card here. I have a piece of Whisper White cut at 6x6, six six, or six, I'm sorry, 3x6, six, and it's scored at 3. And then I have a piece of Melon Mambo, which is 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. Okay, this melon mambo. I just wanted a small border around here, so we're going to put this down. Let me see if I can get this straight. Okay, and then this designer series paper, which I said was It's My Party, is cut at two and three fourths by two and three fourths. Let's get that down. Candles the right side up. This has also got the small border. Okay, and then on this, I have a small strip here that is cut at half an inch. And this is where I'm going to take my Let's Party, get it straight up, and I am going to use Memento ink. And I'm just going to stamp it right down here. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. I'll try to get this right in the middle. Oh, there we go. I did it. Close this up because that's all I'm going to use the oh, tuxedo black. Okay. Then I'm going to take our little flag punch here. We'll put it in this way get it kind of centered because it's a little bit smaller than the flag than the flag itself the punch do that and I'm gonna come to the other side and do the same thing get it on down there get it in the middle punch that off okay then I have a piece of the melon mambo which is five eighths and I'm going to put a little place in the end of this and on this it's just a little bit bigger so you might have to work it in there or you could use another punch if you wanted to you, you can use the um, square punch but I'm just working it in here okay then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna 
go ahead and tape it down. I'll turn this because I missed this in. Okay, let me get my tweezers here. And I'm going to put this down so I know where I want it. And then I'm going to take the other end of this, put it in here as far as I want it to go. A little bit farther. And I punch that out. Okay, through with that one. And I'm going to bring this over here. And this I'm going to put down just with the snail. I want it flat. Oops. And I'm going to put it just a little bit of an angle. Then I'm going to take, oops, I didn't get any whisper white out. Hang on just a second. This will do. Okay, just a piece of whisper white. And I wanted to do the cupcake in the crushed curry. Put this down here. And stamp that down. Okay. And then I'm going to do the little balloon in the mint macaron. Okay. Close that up. And let's cut these out. Straight on there. Same thing with this one. Everything's flying on me. Okay. Now let's bring this back down. And I'm going to use the edge of a dimensional. So I'm going to get this one right here. since it's small. Whoops. Get this one. Turn it that way. Then I'll pull that off. Put the cupcake down here. stick this at a little bit of an angle and then I'm going to take the cucumber crush marker and I'm just going to bring a little line down just like that for the tail then I'm going to fold that use my bone folder just like that and there's your little card and he, like I said, these make really cute little invitation cards. I really like to the size them because even the kids, you know, you can say, hey, go hand these out to your friends. And the teachers love these little bitty cards, I'm telling you. You can use them for just about anything. But this is my card for today. And if there's any supplies that you would like to look at or if you would like to purchase any of these supplies that I've showed you today for these cards, I will put the link to my online store down below in the description box and I will also put the link to my blog and I will have the pictures of these plus the measurements on my blog if you would like to have those. So check these out and remember occasions only goes until the uh, May 31st and then we're, go we're also going to be getting the new um, annual catalog on the 2nd I believe it comes out. So keep an eye out for that. I'll let you know on my blog when that comes out. And this is Betty. Betty Stampin' Crazy. Thank you.